Susan. Or Susan. Board game. It's a two-player abstract game played on a hexagonal board. Uh, that was invented by Stephen Linhart in 1991. Uh, Susan uh, is played on a hexagonal board with five cells per side. Larger boards can be used for deeper, deeper games. The object of the game is to surround any opponent's stones, stone or stones. A stone is said to be surrounded if no empty space spaces are found adjacent to it. Um, it means that four stones of any color can surround a stone on the edge of the board, and three stones of any color can surround a stone on the corner of the board. If a player makes a move that surrounds one of their stones, uh, then the player loses the game, even if it even if they surround, even if it surrounds an opponent's stone at the same time. The game begins with an empty board. Each player has an allocated color, black or white. Start, oh, sorry, I meant to play, I meant to, uh, I, I picked black because I, I went first in the last game, but starting with black, uh, players take turns making one of the following, one of the following. A player can place a stone of their own color on an empty cell of the board, or a player can slide one of their stones already on the board to an adjacent unoccupied cell. If, a player, if both players choose to slide their stones instead of placing new ones three consecutive turns in a row, six consecutive slides in total, then the game ends in a draw. Okay. So I think there should be... We should be able to get uh, more than one game in, probably. I forgot to change the clock again, so we got an hour plus one minute per move. But we won't take that long. Different color. Yeah. Yeah, so uh what does it say here? If a player makes a move oh well that one. Uh yeah, stone is said to be surrounded if no empty spaces are found adjacent to it. It means that four stones of any color can surround a stone on the edge of the board and three Right. On the edge of the board and three stones of the color on the corner of the board.
And you can also slide stone. So a player can place a stone of their color on an empty cell, or a player can slide one of their stones already on the board to an adjacent unoccupied cell. Three slides in a row will be a draw. Yeah, that does make sense to play, place it on that that part of the board, I guess. Cruising on down Main Street. <laughs> hmm. How do I surround a stone? are very well evenly placed around the board. I, I enjoy. Mm -hmm. You gonna do one more? Yeah, that's where I was gonna go. You took it, took the spot first. I did. Emerson was here this past week. We made a little bit of music. Hi, uh, Becca. My bad. Only. I think I saw one of the videos today. That was. Yeah. But that was Emerson. I think. 
to work? Um, the first few didn't turn out well just because of the recording process. There's some peaking, and but uh, for next, we'll be much for whatever next time is. Uh, we'll be pretty good to go on that. So that was uh, Susan. Uh, we'll probably play it again. That's a pretty fast and fun game. Yeah. Uh, I mentioned some other one that that we played last week. Uh, traffic, uh, traffic lights, and uh, the one that you were good at. Um, um, Three Musketeers. Three Musketeers. Yeah, that. We'll probably do that next week. But yeah, uh, I'll try to make some sort of list of. Favorite games, I guess. I don't know. Do you? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if you enjoyed this one, as, but uh, I thought that was. Yeah, I, I think it's a fast. I I, I, I enjoy fast paced game. I mean, I don't really know strategy yet, but uh, I do enjoy this game so far. All right. See you next time.